good morning folks going to do a bit of a modified lifestyle today it will begin normally however with a calm 24 hours on our star no flashes or eruptive behavior and when we come over to spaceweathernews.com and 193 angstroms there isn't much to see here either solar wind is calm here at earth too that is likely to change towards the end of the weekend when the stream from the centralized corona hole arrives at earth another one incoming over the limb now but alas folks our star was not actually so calm the far side boomer that aimed at Mars a week ago is still alive and produced another enormous blast now seen on Soho frames this morning as well, even if just barely. The event happened four hours ago and so the satellites will be updating for the coming hours. And we already have the stereo images, another titanic blast I'm happy to watch sail far away from our planet. She's coming round to face Earth again next week. Quick set of shares before we get to the live style wind maps. This is the aerosol projections using GOES forward data. Goddard SVS link is for you below. We also have one for the new release from the ESO, zooming in on Orion here. The new CAMS project has been able to identify massive populations of newly formed stars that seem to come in three distinct waves, blue, green, then red, all within just the last three million years, which upends a good bit of formation hypotheses. Okay, let's head over now to windy.com and we're going to be checking out the United States in a low pressure system and convergence line cutting across the, uh, the eastern part of the country coming towards Washington, D.C. tonight. Uh, you can sort of see the rotation still here on the wind map, although we do have the rain overlay put on. Uh, you really should be able to see the center of rotation there. Uh, really approaching the coastline as we'll pull the pressure back up and we've stopped the timeline there right around dinner time in the U.S., and you can see that in addition to the circulating low, we kind of have this convergence that curls back across the states. And that is indeed where you find the rain throughout the rest of the night tonight, uh, basically from the Carolinas up into Pennsylvania, and then in the overnight hours, uh, creeping up a little bit more into New England. Uh, let's put on the pressure and go back over to Europe, uh, because we want to show you a very powerful uh, storm in the North Atlantic that's going to be driving uh, probably some more flash floods uh, for parts of the UK. Uh, it will then move on towards the Netherlands and Denmark tomorrow. But let's quickly go ahead and, you know, you were watching that purple low, very strong low pressure system in the North Atlantic. And its convergence line is really where it creates the rainstorms uh, that really are causing the problems. And that has caused some of the flooding that we've seen already this season over in the UK. Really do hope that these live style episodes help you use the wind map to be a bit more of your own weatherman as we're watching some of the shots of that solar eruption on the far side here to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.